guys, it's Brittany and I am so excited to share with you this amazing podcast I just had with John Garcia. He is the CEO and founder of Soldiers for Wildlife, an amazing anti-poaching organization working hard in Africa in so many different ways. And John's story is really, really cool how he came to start Soldiers for Wildlife. And I think that a lot of you would really enjoy listening, whether you're super interested in conservation or not. Um, please take a moment to listen, to share it, enjoy, and there's a lot to learn from and listen to in this conversation. I get to share a little bit about myself and he shares a lot about himself as well. So if you want to know more about me, if you want to know about my story, if you want to know about John's and Soldiers for Wildlife, please take a moment, enjoy, and listen. Seeing that this guy could be so excited about wildlife and, and I saw the impact it had on me, um, even though, you know, I was in my little home in Orange County, but it just made me feel like that's the effect I want to have on people. And, uh, Do you personally believe uh, that our species at this point in time has the willpower to turn this extinction crisis around and significantly reduce our carbon footprint? Um, and, you know, and then put enough pressure on governments. It's out there because it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, the squirrels mm -hmm. and conservation issues, they're tough. They're tough. They're multifaceted. There's so many stakeholders involved. There's so many different opinions. Um, economies, it's it's a, it's more than just saving wildlife. I mean, this is international relations. Mm -hmm. These are- you know, That was 10, 11 years ago. Um, so then after that, I got into the Navy and then after the Navy, within a month and a half, I was in, I was in Africa. And it was, the first bit of it was putting myself essentially through my own kind of boot camp. You know, I had to run around and meet different people and learn a lot. So I spent like a year, year and a half just coming back. And I mean, I wasn't a rich person. I came out of the Navy. Um, <laughs> 